Here are the top three New Year's resolutions I think you should have and why. Number one, don't have New Year's resolutions. I think making January 1st the New Year New Me start date is kind of lame. If there's something that you have to change in your life and it's like June or July, are you just gonna wait like five or so months specifically just to do that thing? And don't even get me started on people who go to the gym in January only to leave by March. I have done that before, I am one of those people. You know, it just makes more sense to search for pockets of time to do the thing that you wanna do rather than putting it off. Even if you have to like just ask a friend for a recommendation to help you get started on it. Leave a comment if you disagree, but my life has been way better ever since I let New Year's resolutions die. The second thing you need for New Year's resolutions is a declaration of dedication. Now dedication and grit and discipline all kind of live in the same house, figuratively. But it's that moment where you mess up a thing that you set out to do and you just continue doing it the next time anyway. You don't get too hung up on that mess up. You don't let that stop you from doing the thing. Doesn't matter if it was a seven day or a 30 day or a 365 day streak, tomorrow's a new day, you just go do it again. Let's say I wanted to stop eating cookies or something, I don't know. For the whole week I messed up. Six out of those seven days I messed up and I had cookies. There's still a chance for me to get back on track for day seven so I can just tell myself tomorrow is a new day. I mess up all the time, but it doesn't matter because I'm dedicated. I'm committed to fixing that thing. So even if I mess up, I just get up the next time I have to do that thing and I try to do it again. My room isn't messy because I took everything out of my drawers and I just dumped them all in the center all at once. It happened over time. So I can fight habits with habits. Now changing habits and doing all of those things can be pretty difficult, especially when you've had a streak of losses. So I recommend you get the third thing, an accountability partner. For a long time I wanted to make YouTube covers where I sped up and slowed down different sections of music, but I was always afraid to do it because my voice is pretty bad. But my friend, who is my accountability partner, helped me to manage my time and stick to doing the thing that I wanted to do. They even helped me with longer term goals like learning a new language and getting my finances in order. It's like I'm the owner of a restaurant called me and he's the manager, but I'm also the employee. Does that make sense? It's like taking the pressure of a job and just kind of aiming it in the direction of the things that you want for yourself. It's pretty cool. Priorities change all the time because, you know, life is life, but that's okay, you know, and we help each other through those things. I check in on him to make sure he does what he said he would do, and he checks in on me for the same thing. An accountability partner can be anyone. It can be your mom, it can be a coworker, it can be an employer or an employee, a classmate. Um, it could even be somebody you hire on Fiverr or something. I don't know. It can be anyone who's willing to check in with you for as often as you both agree. And both me and my friend agree that ever since we started doing it, life has been pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, recap time. Number one, just get rid of New Year's resolutions. You don't need them. Number two, tell yourself that you're dedicated and you're committed to changing whatever the thing is that you need to change or achieving whatever goal it is that you wanna achieve. Regardless of whether you mess it up or not, just keep on, keep on trekking and keep on looking for ways to get there, you know? And number three, get you an accountability partner, cause it's lit, it's lit. But anyway, that's it. I'll see you in the Dance Gavin Dance video. Yep. Like and subscribe.